I'm Anil Kumar and here is a test problem for you to write equation of transform function from graph. The question is determine the equation of transformed square root function. Here is the graph of the transform function. You can pause the video and answer the question. So take it as a test. So this is a test question for you. You need to write transform function. What I really mean is function in the form of g of x equals to a times f of k times x minus p plus q and we are given that f of x is equal to square root function right so that is given to you so at the end of the exercise you should get equation of the transform function from this graph so once again pause your video write down the solution and then check with my work okay as we have done in a couple of videos, we'll follow the same process so that you get the idea of how to write correct equation from the graph. So first and foremost, we normally have a practice of working in reverse order. So we'll do reverse order. Reverse here really means is that if you have the equation, you should sketch it uh, by taking care of stretches and compressions first stretches, compressions, and reflection, which is multiplication, and then translation. Reverse means once we, are, we have the graph and we find we are trying to find the equation, we'll actually go in the reverse means we'll start from this side. We'll first do the translations, then look for compressions and stretch, right? So that is what I'm trying to say. So first we'll look for translations and then compression and stretch. So let's have a look at translation. So translation of what? Translation of the square root function. So parent function is square root function. It is given to us. Square root function is 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 2, 9, 3, right? So that is parent function. Let me just sketch one here, right? So, so that is square root of x. Now, if you look at it, what you find is that original point, the initial point has moved three units left and five units up, right? So that is reverse order, right? We're looking into translation first. Second, we also see that it has been reflected as it is not going up, but going down. So that means A is negative and the stretch factor seems to be there since if you move one unit up, it is one unit right, it moves one up. But in this case, one right gives you two down. So that means there is a stretch factor also here. So looking into this now, let us summarize what we just got. Okay, so first foremost, we are looking into the translation of original point, which was at the origin, and we noticed that it has moved one, two, three. So translation, let's talk about. So translation is three units left, three left, and five and 5 up. Now what does this translate into these values? Right? So we'll write down simultaneously. 3 left means p is minus 3 and 5 up means q is 5 plus, right? That is what it means. Now second thing which you observe here is it has been reflected. So we say reflected on x-axis. Now, reflected on x-axis means what? It really means that the value of A is negative. So A is less than zero. That is what it means. Only then it gets reflected. And third, we observe that there is some stretch factor since the point here. If you move one unit, it goes two down, right? So what we see here is that there is a vertical stretch by a factor of 2, right, by a factor of 2. So that is what it means. That means that absolute value of A is equals to 2. Combining these two, what do you get? It should be A equals to minus 2. You get the idea, right? So these are neat steps which will always result into correct equation without much problem. Combining all this, we can now write the function g of x as equal to 
a is minus 2 right so we're taking care of this minus 2 right when I say function it is square root x so so let me write down square root here and within square root what do I have k is 1 let me write down here k is 1 since what we did was we considered everything corresponding to vertical so we're saying k is 1 okay so if k is 1 we are left with x minus p p is minus 3 so I could write x plus 3 here right q value is plus 5 so it is plus 5 so big and bold that is the right answer for us what you can do here is after writing the answer you can check a couple of points correct for example at 1 we expect a value 1 so if I write 1 here so that is part of checking it's a good idea to check if I write 1 here 1 plus 3 is 4 square root of 4 is 2 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 and so we do find the g of 1 is indeed 1 which is kind of correct so that is the way you should be solving such questions and looking into transformations i hope this video works just right for you thank you and all the best